All right, well, now you've heard of farm to table before, and now you can do it yourself. Have you ever picked fresh fruit? Have you done it? I have. Okay. Was it a date? I'm nosy. No, 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 this time. Later. This is just okay. regular old <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> All right. Well, I have gone apple picking, but that was when I was a child, okay? But Metro Detroit is surrounded by farms and orchards, offering you pick experiences. And April Morton stopped by one in Romeo to see what's in season. Mmm, nothing says summer like fresh fruit. And the best thing about living in the Detroit area, you don't need to travel far if you want to pick your own. You know, folks don't have to go all the way to the Traverse City or Sleeping Bear Sand Dune area. Though we have friends up there and they do a great job, um, you can do it as a day trip with your family. Katrina Roy, sixth generation owner of Westview Orchard in Romeo says, right now, these beauties are ready for picking. Prime cherry time and raspberries. So the cherries we grow, we have about five acres that folks can just walk out there. A lot they can pick just from walking around on the ground. They can also use ladders, especially when the perfect cherry is spotted high in the trees. Like the Sharma family from South Lyon, who's made picking cherries a family tradition. More than six years I've been coming here. Yeah. He's almost seven now, so no, he's seven. Already seven. He or you're already seven, sorry. So at least for six years we've been coming here. Okay, Dad, gotta get that age right. Speaking of age, Katrina says July is when cherries are fully grown and perfectly ripe. Depending on your taste, they have a couple of varieties, like my favorite, the Bing cherry, which is sweet. We also grow a sour cherry, and the sour cherries are the ones that have more of an orangey red color, a soft tender skin, and a soft flesh. She says those are best for jams, jellies, and pies. Looks like this seven-year-old is enjoying the sours. But you like sour ones, right? <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> now on to raspberries. Since I've never picked fruit on my own, I thought I'd hop on the wagon and join in with Stephanie from Oak Park. She says picking fruit is something she and her husband enjoys. To just stock up for the year so we can have you know, food for you know, our smoothies throughout the year. So we'll probably freeze half of these, eat a bunch of them. Stephanie did pretty good picking. I struggled a bit. So Katrina led me to an area with fuller branches. She also gave me tips on how to pick correctly. When they just fall off, they're ready. When they're kind of struggling, man, they're not ready. She says sometimes the key is digging deep into the bush for the ripe ones, and the good ones are rich in red color. After putting in some work, I can now enjoy the fruits of my labor. If picking fruit isn't your thing, the market here offers up the same goodies. Although for the Sharmas, there is something special about family time bonding over picked <laughs> fruit. Can I try one too? Very, very cute. Well, you have just a few, just a short time left for picking cherries and raspberries. They are bloomed until the end of August, so before getting a second crop in mid-September. So get out there if you want to go cherry picking. <laughs>